Hello my little stars, I'm Nikki, and before you start the video, please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell notification, that we will always be notified whenever we post a brand new video. And also, share the video with everyone that you know, especially your brothers and sisters, and even if you don't have any, still find a way to share it with them. Hi guys, I'm Lizzie. Um, today's video is a little different than most that we post because it's more of a serious matter. Um, a little while ago, we filmed a video where Nikki went through my phone and she found a guy in my contacts named Tom. So she kept questioning me about Tom, you know, who's Tom? And I told her we were just friends, which at the time we were just friends, okay? Tom and I talked for a little while and then we decided to make it official we started dating for a little bit but we just recently broke up because I have to do what is best for Nikki and myself okay when Tom and I first you know, started talking and stuff. He was so sweet and so kind. And, um, he just seemed like the perfect all-around guy. And Nikki did get to meet Tom. And Nikki likes most people. But Nikki did not really like Tom. He's crazy. Yeah, there's something about Tom she didn't like. Yeah, he's crazy. Well, I kept telling her, oh, he's nice. You know, he's a nice guy. And she says, Mom, I'm telling you. You need to break up with that guy. There's something wrong with him. There's something not right. And I'm like, Nikki, it's just in your, you know, it's just in your mind. She's a mama. I'm telling you, something ain't right. Well, Nikki, she knew what she was talking about. The longer we were together, he kind of got obsessive and possessive. And he called me one day and my phone was on vibrate. I didn't get the call in time. Me and Nikki had went to McDonald's, okay? So, he, you know, I see that I've missed a call. And I call him back. And he's like, where were you? With you out, were you out with some other guy? And I was like, no. I took my daughter to McDonald's. Yeah, I'm not a guy. No. Then he's like, well, why didn't you invite me? Um, I'm sorry. But... We had a mother-daughter day. You were not a mother or a daughter. I'm going to have some time with my daughter. Okay. And then he's like, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you know. So I forgave him. And then he starts talking about marriage and all this stuff. And we hadn't been together, I didn't think, long enough to discuss marriage. But, you they know. They weren't even engaged. No. We had not even got engaged, and he's talking to me about wanting to marry me and having a nice spring wedding, and I don't know what all, you know, and I'm just kind of like, uh-huh, because I didn't know what to say about that, and then he tells me that he loves me. Well, I didn't have time to fall in love, and then he's like, aren't you going to say it back, and I told him, Tom, I, I like you a lot, but... This is moving a little too fast for me. And then he's mad at me again. And then he says, well, if I proposed to you right now, what would you say? And I said, honestly, I would say no because I am not ready. Well, he's mad at me again. And he goes like two days without texting me or calling me or anything. And I'm like, you know what? I just, I cannot do this. He is too immature. And... I can't have that. Um, no, I'm not the most mature person in the world, but I'm mature we when all know I, that, Mom. of course, but I'm mature when I need to be, right? So I decided that it was time to end it. I broke up with him. I won't go into full details about the breakup, but I will say this. He was mad, but then he's like, well, can we still be friends? 
And I said, yeah, of course. You know, we can still be friends. And then he says, good. I'll pick you up at 7.30 tonight. And I looked at him and I was like, okay, no. We broke up. We're not still going to go out on dates. And then he's mad again. And I said, okay, you know what? It's just best if we part ways. I do not want to be friends with you. And I'm not a rude person. But he kind of wanted to act like he owned me. And, no, there was times that I called him, and he missed a call, and I wasn't like, well, were you out with some other girl? You know, maybe if I had done that, he would have seen my point of view, but probably not. But, yeah, it was a very short romance. Um, and, hey, you know, stuff happens in life. It happens. Every relationship is not going to work out. But I am glad that I found out how he was, because, I mean, what if he'd kept it hidden and we had got married, and then we would have had to have went through a divorce, and it's just, it's not worth it. Um, Nikki had a little boyfriend named Justin, and they broke up, but do you have a new boyfriend? You do? Yeah. Well, is he nicer than Justin? <laughs> she don't want to talk about that, I guess. Um... Just don't mind. Don't mind that. I keep my... His name's Kaden. Kaden. Okay, Kayden. I like that name. Most of the time, I keep my personal life private, but since he had been mentioned in previous videos, I decided that I should share it with you guys. And I'm not upset, really. I mean, do I wish it had worked out and he had been a nice person? Kinda, but it just, it wasn't meant to be. And um, guys, if you're wondering what the light is, I have, I have my phone. Oh yeah, Nikki's lighter. using her phone. Um, but yeah, not every relationship's gonna work out, and that's okay. I've been down this road before, and I'm good. I have my daughter, and <laughs> yeah, that's what matters. And Macy. Um, oh yeah, of course, Macy. Um, I'm happy. I'm gonna have to keep her company and annoy <laughs> her, drive her crazy. I'm gonna drive her to the nut house. She doesn't need anybody You're gonna else drive to me to the nut house. No one else but we just company. thought we would share with you guys what happened. Um, that's not everything. Well, I'm gonna have to get her a new boyfriend. Oh my goodness, I'm not ready for a new boyfriend. <laughs> that one didn't last very long. Well, nah, lasted a little bit, but not too long. But, um, I do know that. Everything is going to be all right. Ain't it? Yeah, as soon as I married this boyfriend of mine. I like, mm, okay. <laughs> I said the same thing about Justin. I know it. I remember being in elementary school and having little boyfriends and thinking, I'm going to. Nice. Well, I remember thinking, I'm going to marry them someday. I don't even know where they are now. I mean, you just. But, uh, yeah. And in a while from now, we're not going to know where Tom is. I don't know where Tom's at now because I'm I know, not talking probably driving to him somebody anymore. else crazy. I will say this. He has tried to call me and he has tried to text me. And he has tried to drive us both crazy. Of course. Um, I am not talking to him because I don't do that obsessive crazy stuff. Um, if he does continue to text me and call me, I will block his number eventually. I'll block him for you. He's driving me crazy. For Nikki not to lock him when she first met him, I should have known something wasn't right because Nikki locks most people. Like the house phone's ringing on and off all night long. Oh, the house phone? Yeah, he's he's called the house phone too. I mean, so, I, I can't mean, do anything without hearing the phone ring. We were probably going to have to get our, our number changed on the house phone. I don't know. And my mom being but, like, I don't want to talk to you. That's all I ever hear is the phone ringing. My mom having to like, no. Yeah, we have call our day. So, yeah, I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. Not answering that phone. And then, so Nikki, you know, she didn't even have to look at the call our day. She automatically knows who it is. But anyway, um, I just. the phone rings and I see the word Tom, I just like put the phone back on the Yeah, put it back on the receiver thing. But anyway, um, that call. maybe we were able to entertain you with my breakup story. I don't know. Um, if you like the video, maybe we'll be telling one of my breakup stories. You think so? 
If you like the video, Guys, give us I need a to thumbs be up. A oh goodness. Just Subscribe to the channel. Just take your celebrity crush with Daniel the cameraman. Maybe I can like get you guys to go on it. I thought you liked Daniel the cameraman. I've got a boyfriend. Oh. No, I'd say Daniel the cameraman is probably married with kids. But you never know. Yeah. That was another thing. Like celebrity crushes. He was allowed to have a celebrity crush, but I wasn't. Like he would get mad if he thought I did. And so I don't know. But yeah, um that is all for today's video. And please like and subscribe. Peace out, everybody. Bye, guys. Cars out.